Guys, here we are back at the village and we are about to kill the priest. Oh my god, guys, it is time. We are going to do it in this episode. As the title says, we are going to try and do it. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this, guys. I'm kind of concerned, guys. The last time we saw the priest, he disappeared from the village. We couldn't really catch him. We don't even know where he was. I feel as if he informed the boogeyman. And I feel as if we're in a very, very tough spot at this moment. Because, guys, we could return to the village. It could be completely destroyed. Something could be wrong. Very, very wrong. And that is what I am concerned with. And that is what I don't want to see. But it is a bright day in Minecraft, nevertheless. And with that aside, I will say one thing. If you're not a subscriber of the channel, what are you doing? Join Team O1G. I welcome you with open arms. It is a community full of awesomeness. And do I say we never know what to expect with each and every upload? And plus, we have that daily content, and we do it unlike any others. But ladies and gentlemen, that aside, like the video, we're going for 666 likes. And that is a very special number. It is a creepy number. But let's achieve that like Go blow it out of the water, and see it on the other side of the world. But with that aside, strap in, grab whatever you may need, popcorn, soda, it does not matter. But ladies and gentlemen... If you see, in my inventory, I have a diamond sword, which will be the sword that we slay the priest with once and for all if he's still in the village due to heavy demand, heavy request, and I agree 110%. This priest needs to be destroyed now, and I'm sick of it, but what could be wrong? What could go wrong? Well, we could encounter the boogeyman as well. And I'm not sure if I'm geared up to fight the boogeyman. There's been a lot of theories that you guys have been posting in the comment section below. We're headed to the village. We're not wasting any time, guys. This is a content-full episode. Strap in. I'm telling you guys right now. Okay. We're headed back to the village. And the first thing when we do, when we see that priest, we're going to kill him once and for all. Which, if he is the servant of the boogeyman, something in relation, this could be bad. Oh, my God, guys. I just remembered something. Oh, guys. What about that one... That one villager that we found that... Oh, no, 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 no. Guys, guys, I don't know if you recall, but we found one villager, right? We found one villager. He gave us the book. He's the one that gave us this book called Cry for Help. But the weird thing was, he was all... He was like an all-black villager, guys. And I've been putting together some of the pieces, and I think maybe that was Boogeyman in disguise. Wait, oh, no, 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 no. Because, guys, if that's Boogeyman, and the, 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 uh, the, the book says... Um, guys... The book says, kill, kill, villager. Your problem is your own. That's what you guys have translated it out to be. 666. Six, six. Um, okay, guys. What if... Oh, no. What if the priest is not evil? Oh, no. Guys, I just thought about this. What if that was the boogeyman that gave us the book to try and confuse us so we would kill the villager? Because this says, kill, kill, villager. Could this be hinting towards killing the priest? Guys, the priest was locked up to begin with when we found him in the village. Guys, if you not watched the previous episode of the Boogeyman Saga, it's, oh my god, I'm sorry, but you have been missing out. And there's seriously something wrong with you if you don't pause this video and go watch those right now. Guys. I, I, I know I may be thinking too much into this. I know I may. And this theory may be far-fetched, but what if the priest was neither the bad one? I mean, okay, guys, we have to put this together. We found the priest locked up in the village, far outside of the village. Could the other villagers have put him there? But what about the individual that gave us the book? And it got night very quick. Guys. We have to do it. We have to do it, guys. We're going to go kill the priest. And then, after we kill the priest... Something tells me. Do you guys just see something up here and re appear over there? Guys, something tells me after we kill this priest. Why is that on fire? What is that? Why was that zombie on fire during the day? I mean, during the night. Why was that zombie on fire during the night, guys? Guys, here we are back at the village and we are about to kill the priest. Our house. The priest usually has been hiding in my house, guys. 
Wait, why is that dug out like that? Look how weird this is dug out. It's like a trench. Why is that like that? Oh my god, guys. Did I recall? Did, did I totally forget the fact of mentioning, guys? We found a cross in the last episode, too. Like, I'm not even kidding with you guys. Um, give me some bread. I need some food. Guys, we found a cross in the gravel biome over there, guys. It was just there. We didn't even know all this time. Could that have been another signal? Guys, I'm telling you, that priest did. There he is. Oh. Guys, we thought he was gone. We thought maybe he went and informed the boogeyman or something. He's in our house. Oh, guys. What if he done something to our house? Oh no, what if he done something to our house? We're killing him, we're killing him. We're doing it. Did we just do that? Did we really just do that? Why is there villagers outside? Which is... Whoa! What are you doing? Why is he looking around like that? Why are you looking at me like that? Why is he just staring? We just killed the priest. Now, guys, if we take in notability of what's been happening in the previous episodes, he has been in our house a lot, and we just left our house unmonitored for like two episodes. I feel like he did something to our house. I haven't even checked the bedroom yet either, guys. I should have just not created a bedroom because the fact that I have to open up a door, it's like this blacksmith is like, go ahead, open it. There's something there. I'm like, Haha, I don't really want to, guys, because we do have a chest in our bedroom, too. All right. This is what I'm going to do, guys. If we should furthermore investigate our house, we will do that in the next episode. Um, We killed the priest. Nothing really weird happened. Uh, Nothing too notable happened. Uh, it seemed pretty normalized for the most part. Um, why is this cobblestone missing? I think I know why this one's missing. We had to, like, get a villager out. But why is this one missing? Did I destroy this in an earlier episode? No mobs. A creeper explosion can't do that. Wait. An enderman could do that. Oh, no, guys. I don't want to be dealing with the internet. Guys, we haven't even fully explored the under the catacombs of the village. And when I say there's catacombs in this village, like, guys, I 100% mean it. They are, like, pathways running all underneath this village, which is how we think the boogeyman gets around a lot in this village, guys. Oh, my God. Okay. So we're going to totally secure our house, guys. This is what we're going to do in the next episode. We're drawing out a blueprint, potentially. I don't know. There's a lot to do. I need to know what you guys think. Should we investigate our house fully, dig underneath our house, make sure everything is good underneath it, make sure there's no hidden places under our house, make sure the priest didn't, you know, mess with anything. Let me know if we should do that. Something tells me we do need to go back to the boogeyman's house. And guys, something tells me we have the demon wings, we have the book, we killed the priest. Something tells me this could all be summarizing up and we could be getting one step closer to ending the boogeyman once and for all and killing him, finding him, killing him. And that is what I'm going for, guys. This has been one heck of a journey, but one thing is for sure, we will find the boogeyman and we will kill him. And I feel as if it's coming around the corner closer and closer. We got rid of the priest. We're learning so much. We found the shrine. We got the demon wings and I feel like we're really setting him off. But one thing is for sure... It wasn't, what, two episodes back that it really did appear as if we spotted Boogeyman again, which was the first time in quite a wall, and the notability... The zombie was really loud. There's no telling what's around the corner for us, guys, but strap in, and I know this series is only getting more crazier by the episode, but, um... 
going to be nuts. With that aside, guys, thanks so much for all the love and support. I will see you guys when I see you guys. Oh, my God, that Steve head over there just creeped me out. And the next one, guys, have a wonderful day. The Boogeyman Saga continues. Be sure to subscribe. Join Team o one of the top rising channels on all of YouTube. And I promise this and put everything on it when I say, as a family, we will rise, share the videos with friends, family. Also, guys, uh, another reason why you need to subscribe. Listen closely, okay? We need more people investigating this because, guys, I feel really alone. <laughs> I'm super scared right now. So I need more people investigating this mystery with me. Let me know their theories. Let me know everything. So post them in the comment section below. As always, guys, your feedback is always appreciated. And I will see you all when I see you all, which will be soon. Have a nice day.